right now is Stan Twardy, former Weicker Chief of Staff and former U.S. Attorney. Stan, uh, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Uh, let me just start out by saying Lowell Weicker was such a giant, such a pivotal public servant here in Connecticut. Uh, probably best known for instituting the state income tax year, but he was involved in and even spearheaded important legislation here in Connecticut and in Washington. So just talk a little bit about his legislative track record. Sure. And, and I had the good fortune of serving not only as his chief of staff when he was governor here in Connecticut, uh, but serving his counsel, as counsel for him when he was in the Senate, uh, doing many of the things that you, you previewed in your introduction. Uh, I joined him after the Watergate Committee, uh, you know, and obviously that was where he got national uh, uh, frame, was serving on the Watergate Committee, uh, putting, putting country ahead of party. Uh, at that time, the first one of the Republicans on the Senate Watergate Committee to do so. Others like Howard Baker joined him eventually and called for Richard Nixon's impeachment. But that, th what you saw there from Lowell Weicker is the person he was. He was somebody who put the people he served ahead of party and anything else. Uh, and always was looking out for the people who had no, no or little voice. Um, you know, the, what he advocated for uh, research, HIV research, the American Disabilities Act, which he authored and was passed after uh, he had left the Senate, uh, what, what he had done for so many people and for those, as I say, who did not otherwise have a, a representative, a, a voice uh, to be heard. As you mentioned, Weicker served on the Watergate Committee in the early 70s. Did he talk much about that experience with you? Yes, he did. And it, it did influence him because I think he was concerned about the power of the executive branch. Uh, it clearly um, affected him and it frankly impacted me and my my views of the executive versus uh, legislative branch. But the, really, and, and my wife, uh, when we, we first got married, uh, sewed a tripartite uh, a, a, a reindeer uh, pulling Santa Claus with uh, legislature, executive branch and courts. And White was a true believer in the Constitution and, and the, the three branches of government and how important that was uh, to our country uh, and that Again, you know, that, that he clearly, one of his clear statements was, we're a nation of laws, not of men. And that really guided him in what he did and how he approached uh, his role as a U.S. Senator. Yeah, Stan, very, very tough to uh, really adequately sum up uh, a man like Lowell Weicker in just a couple of minutes here. But I'm going to ask you to do that. Uh, wh what do you think is his legacy? I think his legacy uh, is uh, twofold, uh, championing, championing the underdog, and bringing fiscal stability to the state of Connecticut. Uh, while you know people talk about the income tax, I think they forget about the uh, deal he struck with the Mashantucket Peapots and the Mohegans uh, to take um, a percentage of the uh, revenues from the slots, video slots at the casinos, which is a big uh, percentage of what our state revenues are. And that has enabled the subsequent governors uh, to keep taxes down uh, and to enable us to be fiscally uh, stable. And if I might tell a, a personal story, uh, which, which to me epitomizes Lowell Weicker, uh, I had the pleasure of working with him in the Senate uh, when there were issues of school prayer, uh, busing, et cetera, came up, you know, what, what we called court stripping. Um, and uh, during the, the, the middle of this, his son, Sonny, uh, had a minor, minor surgery at a children's hospital in Washington, D.C. Uh, and as we were waiting in the waiting room, a couple came in with their son, who was clearly gravely ill with cancer. Uh, and um, they mentioned, said, um, you're Senator Weicker, aren't you? And they identified themselves as people from Connecticut uh, and told us about the son's issues and uh, you know the, his slim chances for a long, long life. Uh, and as we walked out uh, of the hospital, uh, Senator Weicker turned to me and said, Stan, that's what the job of a senator is to do is to help people who cannot help themselves, to help people like that young man in there. And that's why Lowell Weicker stood behind funding for NIH when presidents tried to cut it, stood there to have funding for uh, HIV research, uh, did things for those who did not otherwise have a voice. Uh, his, he was a champion of civil rights. He was a champion of the people. And he was a, a populist before their populist was, were known to be those for themselves. Weicker was a populist for those who did not have a, a spokesperson for themselves otherwise. All right. Very poignant story there, Stan Twardy, former Lowell Weicker uh, chief of staff and counsel. We appreciate your time. Thanks for uh, sharing your memories with us. My, my pleasure. All right.